Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. I'm very excited to show you the newest remote ID broadcast module. And it's from a company called Zing. Now you may have heard of Zing drone delivery before. They're out of California and they've been around for a few years, but they've actually gotten into the broadcast module market. And it's perfect timing because I know that many people have been struggling to find a module because the production is way behind the demand right now. Now, before I tell you about the Z-RID or the Zing Remote ID, I'm gonna call it the Z-RID from now on, I do need to tell you about the flash sale that they're having right at this moment. To celebrate Zing obtaining their declaration of compliance, they are offering a special pricing for a very limited time until the end of this day right here. It's only gonna be $169, which is the least expensive all-in-one broadcast module on the market right now. And then after this flash sale is over, it goes back up to the regular price of $199, which is still very competitive pricing in the broadcast module market because most units are running over $200 up to $300 each. So check the link in the video description if you wanna get in on this special deal. And if you're watching this after that flash sale is over, the regular price is still lower than most units that are currently available. And you can always use my discount code for an extra $20 off the regular price. Now, will we see lower priced units come in the future? I really think that we will, but for now, this is the best that you're gonna find. And they are promising delivery within four weeks after you order this, which is something no other company has done yet. I did a little research to see what's available as far as broadcast modules out there, all in one broadcast modules. There's a lot of FPV modules out there where you have to hook up the wiring and the battery and all of that. Uh, those are relatively inexpensive, like $39, some of them are $69. But as far as an all in one unit, there's nothing available, you guys, nothing available. There's some out there, but people still can't get them. So, and we don't know when they're gonna come to market. So I think Zing is way ahead of the game right now. Now the Z-RID is a very simple design. It's just a single button. It's either on or it's off. It measures two inches by 1.5 inches by one inch. And it currently weighs just under 40 ounces. It charges with USB-C and the battery lasts for 14 hours. So you won't need to charge it very often. Now the build quality of my unit right here is satisfactory. I have one of the early units and I wasn't initially impressed with the plastic on it because it seemed just a little bit too thin. So I reached out to Zing to ask about this and they are actually upgrading this housing right here, and it's gonna be double the thickness of what I have. So that's gonna feel a lot more professional, it's gonna feel a little more robust, and so this is, it's not terrible, but I just thought that if you squeeze it, it shouldn't be able to be squeezed. So I think that double walled uh, housing is gonna be a lot better. Now, the Z-RID attaches to your drone with a 3M hook and loop. Now, I recommend heating up both your drone and the hook and loop before you attach it to your drone because you wanna make sure it has good adhesion. Don't try to attach it on a cold day. Just make sure both of them are warm. Now, because I don't own any drones that don't have standard remote ID right now, I do have my Mavic Pro, but it doesn't fly. So I couldn't test it with my Mavic Pro. So what I did is I used my Mini 4 Pro to test out the Z-RID. All right, guys, so I got the hook and loop on top of the Mini 4 Pro. I have the ZRID right here. We're just gonna hook and loop it right on top of the drone. Now, one thing that I should mention, you guys, like I said, I don't have any drones that don't have standard remote ID. So I'm using the Mini 4 Pro just for demonstration today. Of course, this does have 360 degree obstacle avoidance with these sensors on the top. That's gonna pick up that um, remote ID module. So I have to turn off obstacle avoidance on the Mini 4 Pro to be able to fly with this on there. You're not gonna have to do that on the older drones, on the drones that do have obstacle avoidance. Um, you know, they're gonna have sensors on the back of the drone. They're not gonna pick up this module here. So just know that you can fly with <laughs> obstacle avoidance uh, if you do have the Zing Remote ID attached. The Z-RID had no impact on the flight characteristics of the Mini 4 Pro. So if you're looking at getting this maybe for your Mini 2, or your Mavic Air, then you should be just fine. So in my testing, I use the new Triple Tech Mini phone with the drone scanner app. And once you turn the Z-RID on, it immediately starts broadcasting and the drone scanner app picks it up within one second. So I have the drone scanner app open. Now watch this, as soon as I turn on the Zing Remote ID module, boom, one second and it's already picking it up. The Z-RID is a Bluetooth broadcast module, both Bluetooth 4 and 5. 
and it has a range of 300 meters. I flew my Mini 4 Pro out to about 600 feet and everything worked as it should. All right, they're 600 feet away. And it's still showing, so that's really good. Let's scroll down a little bit here. So now I'm gonna fly and I'm gonna see if it's gonna show us the speeds. Okay, so let's fly backwards. Yep, there we go, 5.5 .5 meters per second, seven, eight meters per second. Nice, now let's go up and down. Let's check the vertical speed. Yep, negative 2.5, let's go up. 4.5, yes, so it's capturing all of the information. And then it shows you operator distance from the phone. So it says three meters, which is about how far away I am from where I launched the drone. One little thing that I did notice, however, is that the height on the app was a little bit off. It was showing an altitude of over 450 meters, which would really put me in trouble. But what that meant was I reached out to Zing and I asked like, why does this say 400 and 500 meters? And they said, because it's measuring the height above ellipsoid instead of above ground level. So it's a firmware update thing. I was told that this will be fixed in the next firmware update and that the consumer units that are going out to people that purchase this will correctly measure above ground levels. So I flew around for quite a while and although there was a slight delay in the flight path tracking on the map, all of the flight parameters were updated in real time and it was instant. And then I also moved myself around with the control station a little bit just to make sure that it tracked the control station like it says it's supposed to and that remained updated as well. Okay, so here's the deal with the Zing Remote ID module. It does what it's supposed to do. It works well. Competitive pricing, I think, as far as broadcast modules go. Um, you know, most of them are right around that $300 mark, which is still too expensive. I'm hoping that someday we're gonna see more $50 units come out. You know, especially for people that have the Mini 1 or the Mavic Air, the original Mavic Air. They're not gonna wanna spend $200 on a device, you know, when they have one of those drones. Like these, this is meant for like commercial users you know, who have some of the bigger commercial drones that aren't gonna get the firmware update to have standard remote ID. So that's who the target market is for this. Also, there's, you know, maybe Mavic 2 Pro owners or Mavic Enterprise owners that need a broadcast module that have been waiting for so long. Um, that's who this is for. Like, honestly, I think if you have a mini one, I think you'd be better off upgrading your drone. Like get a drone that has standard remote ID than to get a broadcast module. Now, if that's not for you, if you're happy with your drone, you love your Mini 1, you love your Mavic Air, then get the broadcast module from Zing. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I like the simplicity of it. You push the button, it's on. You push the button and it's off and it immediately starts broadcasting. So overall, the Z-RID, very capable, does what it's supposed to do. It's available like within the next four weeks, which is better than any other all-in-one broadcast module right now and the price very very fair so if you need a module especially if you're a commercial drone pilot and you need to comply you need to get your fleet up in the air take a good look at the z-rid i'll put a link in the video description if you have any questions about it let me know down in the comments if i can't answer them zing will be reading the comments and they'll be able to answer your questions hit that thumbs up if i gave you any information of value today i appreciate that subscribe if you haven't already if you're interested in becoming a channel member you can become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month and you're going to get bonus content that you're not normally going to see here on the channel there will be a link for that in the video description as well i want to thank you for watching the entire video today have a great day everyone and as always Fly safe and fly smart.